Hello, all my beautiful crafty friends. It is so good to see you back with me today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I upload a new craft video every Tuesday morning. I'll be making a gorgeous mermaid cameo soap dispenser today. I'll be doing some 3D effects using air dry clay, as well as some fancy paint techniques, all on a plain old mason jar. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is wipe down this jar with just some plain ordinary rubbing alcohol. It removes any dirt, debris, fingerprints, oils from either you touching it or it being touched at the store. And that way our paint will stick. Now it's time to add the paint. I am using Folk Art Pop Paint in a Patina color for my base. And I'm being very careful not to get any paint on the threads of this jar. There's going to be a soap pump on it. So if there's any paint on those threads, the soap pump lid will not screw on properly. After I'm done adding the first coat of paint, I'm going to give it one coat of matte spray sealer. And this is a very important step. If you don't put the spray sealer in between your first and second coats of paint, they will not adhere to each other properly and some of the first coat will start to actually peel off. Before I put that spray paint on though, I am masking off the threads of that jar to make sure I don't get any spray on those threads. I ended up doing three coats of paint to get the look that I was going for. I wanted a very soft, opaque background. I'm using a silicone mold and DAS clay to make my mermaid. I'm going to put the mermaid on the jar and let her dry there so that she will capture the shape of the rounded jar. But before I put her on there, I'm going to put a layer of plastic wrap because the DAS clay is a little bit messy and it will stick to your jar. Are you enjoying this video? I hope so. If you are, give me a great big thumbs up and hit that like button and share it with your friends. Okay, it is time to make this mermaid gorgeous. Get your paint brushes out and get your paint ready. I am painting her flesh and her hair a vintage white. It's kind of a off-white creamy color. I've glued a stir stick on the back of her just so that I have a handle and have something to hold on to while I'm painting. I'm painting her tail a dark teal and then I'm going to put some gold accents up around the top of the tail and in her hair. painting her shell bra the same color as her tail. What type of craft video would you like to see next? Let me know in the comments. I love hearing from all of you and I answer all of my comments. You never know, your suggestion could be my next featured video. some gold in her hair but I'm only doing it on the top strands so it looks like her hair is just kind of glistening with gold.
Are you going to make this soap dispenser? I would love to hear about it if you do. Send me something in the comments. I'm putting a little bit of gold paint on a sponge and I'm going to be dabbing it on her tail just to highlight a little bit of gold. After the paint dries, I'm going to give her one quick coat of matte spray. It is time to glue this beautiful mermaid to the jar. I'm using some masking tape to mark where I'm going to put her because once I have the glue on the back of the mermaid, I don't wanna slide her around and try and figure out where to put her because it will ruin my paint finish. And I'm using E6000 glue to attach the mermaid because this stuff will literally last through a war. I'm using some masking tape to hold my mermaid down because I don't want anything to slide around and I will let that sit overnight. I'm cleaning up the bottom of the jar by scraping off any excess paint that wound up where I don't want it and then I'm wiping it with a damp cloth. After I'm all done cleaning this up, I'm going to give it one more coat of matte spray clear finish. I'm putting together the soap dispenser lid and then I'm going to add some gold ribbon to this. I'm tying it in a bow and then the strands that are hanging, I'm going to wrap around a pen to curl, which I'm able to do because this is a wired ribbon and it just adds a little bit to the elegant look of this. I upload a new craft video every Tuesday morning. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of them. If you want to be notified every time I upload a new video, click the bell.